My name is Patrick McMillan of McMillan Metals and the Bench Jewelry Studio in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Today I'm here to talk about Sunstone's Orion Pulse Arc welders. These welders come in various models. The thing I've always enjoyed about these welders, I've had mine for about six years now and it has come in handy in so many moments of my making and repair work. It's extremely versatile with all types of metals, uh, whether you're using steel, stainless steel, or precious metals like gold and silver. And it also helps that it's never impacted by reflective surfaces. You can take your precious metal polished pieces straight to the welder, do your repair, do your assembly, and the welds come out with minimal cleanup needs afterwards. You also get to benefit a lot from this because it actually allows you to avoid fire scale. When we're typically doing soldering work, uh, with silver or gold, all that overheating causes fire scale to develop and you spend a lot of time having to go and sand and polish it out. With this, because all of its heat's very localized right at the electrode, you can hold it very neatly right by your welding spot and do all the assembly and then go back and just clean up the weld spots and not have to worry about heat fire scale developing across the entire piece. I also really enjoy because this because of the fact that you can really construct hollow pieces without any issue with your torches and hot air contracting and expanding as you're working on it. I'm going to be welding a small bead out of some dome sterling silver. With this we're going to go through and we're going to weld up a few little tack welds to hold everything in place. And then we're going to go and we're going to run a bead all the way around to enclose it so it becomes a, an enclosed hollow form. So first I'm going to set up my microscope to a nice comfortable position. We're working with something that is about 20 gauge sterling silver so I am going to change the power on this and we just slide this little bar across and I'm going to bring it up to about 18 watt seconds so it has a lot of range with its power and you can really fine tune it for each piece that you're using depending on the metal thickness or just the overall size of the piece. I'm going to take my ground. It's a little bit hard to clip around this but I can just hold the ground on the surface to get to close the circuit of the weld and just bring this up and and because the heat is so localized I can have my finger right next to the weld spot make sure it is holding just in place so I can actually bring up uh, the number of welds I do per second so I can actually go through and do this a little bit faster as you can see my hands are very close to the to the weld spot and it's just fine so I've got one edge of my bead all welded up and just carry this all the way around. So now that I'm done with the welds, I would just take a tool or two and compress and burnish the metal around the weld area and then do any sanding and polishing that I would need to to finish the piece. Call 801-658-0015 today or visit sunstonewelders.com.